Hey everybody and welcome back to Tenza Motorsports Steering Wheels. That's what we're talking about again today. I did uh, get this one put together the rest of the way. This is the carbon fiber, the full carbon fiber high wow that we showed off a couple videos ago. Before we get into everything that's going on and a potential giveaway, we're gonna talk about the giveaway that's going on right now that will be announced very soon. We'll get that taken care of and then we'll come right back. Huge thanks to Super Clean. We are doing another one of their giveaways. This has been absolutely fantastic cleaner. I've been able to use it in basically every single scenario that has come across us working on cars, the garage, houses, interiors of cars, all the way down to scrubbing the grill out in the backyard. Absolutely fantastic stuff. All you have to do to be part of this giveaway is be following us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports, and be in the lower 48 United States. It's all you've gotta be doing. We've done giveaways from Super Clean before, it's been very successful. We'll continue to do them. Again, just be following us on Instagram. Big thanks to Super Clean. All this information will be down in the description below. Thanks for being part of the giveaway and now back to the video. All right, in today's video, we're gonna be showing off our new steering wheel now. Uh, you've already seen it in a thumbnail, but I do have it right here and I'm very excited to go over that. My wife has been very happy with the way that this one's been turning out. This was actually uh, her Christmas present. This was my Christmas present and a little funny story um, I actually recorded the video of this carbon fiber high wow steering wheel and then I took it back out of the car, wrapped it back up and then that was my Christmas present this year. She hadn't actually uh, seen hers and I put some pink on it and then I wrapped it up and then she got to open it up with, uh, with what it looks like right now. So yes, let's, let's start by showing off her brand new one. And as you can see here, it is an NRG with the quick release pink hub. Now this is a quick release that looks more like paddle shifts. I do that mainly because, well, first off they look cool. I think they look cool, um, but they are much, much easier to remove than busting your fingernails on the ones that just barely have a tab on them. Let's get a little bit close and personal here and get a chance to take a look at this one. So as you can see here, we have done the pink BMW, pink and black BMW, and then I wrapped the inside there and then did a stripe on the top. This is the quick release hub. The other side of the hub is around here somewhere. Unfortunately, today we can't install this in her car, but we can click it into mine, kind of get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. Because the actual hub piece, which have gone down in price, by the way, I think mine was close to $100 and now you can find them all day long, 35, 45 bucks. It shipped to our big hub that's about three hours away on like Thursday and it sat all day Thursday and most of day Friday and then left like Friday night. So today is Saturday and so we weren't able to get that hub in, but this will be in the car very soon. So yes, very excited about the way that that looks. So the biggest difference between these two steering wheels is actually uh, the weight. I'm going to show on the scale. I mentioned in this video when we did this one that the, it wouldn't show up on the scale. It wouldn't register. I was being dumb and wasn't running the, the scale properly. So we will actually get to see the weight difference between the two. We'll get a chance to look at these later on. Now before we move on, uh, speaking of NRG, because I've really been very happy with my NRG steering wheel. So this is the one that I pulled out of my race car. And I do actually have this sold. Uh, it's going in the Porsche. So that 986 boxer that we have been putting on the channel, that's where this is gonna end up going. The M3 stripes, the M BMW racing stripes on that will obviously be removed. But I just wanna show off like how good this thing looks after so long. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera because this is very dark, but right here on the left-hand side is the only spot where it's really been wearing. You can see it's a little bit shiny there. And other than that, the steering wheel has been great. The stitching's held up. Um, this is just carbon fiber like overlay and it's not coming off. It just, it's just held up really well. And I've been very happy with this, which is why with my wife's steering wheel, we went with NRG. And the only thing that she didn't want, which I would have done for her if she, if she did, because that's what I've decided to do is she'd not want a flat bottom steering wheel. She thinks they look funny. And honestly, if you've got the quick release, there's no real reason to have a flat bottom. The flat bottom is, is, uh, you know, if, if you don't want to run a quick release, it allows you a little bit more space to get in and out of your car. Steering wheel on the end here is a bit of a mess, but this is actually going to be a giveaway. So this is an M3 steering wheel. Uh, this will fit on 
well, any BMW you want it to. I don't know other chassis like whether, you know, 30, 36, uh, 90. I don't know about the electrical harnesses on that. So, I mean, hopefully, the, you know, whoever I end up giving this to uh, can, can actually use it instead of having to try to find somebody to sell it or give it away to. But <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's not all put together. I'm gonna be doing a video on finishing this, but as you can see, we do have a good promising start. So we have wrapped the bottom and the top, got rid of all that sticky, uh, the kind of the rubberized plastic that falls off and gets really gross and sticky on these BMW steering wheels. I've removed all that, wrapped this, the bottom emblem has been redone, that's in vinyl. So if you do get this steering wheel, don't wipe that with a microfiber or anything like that because microfiber and vinyl don't go well together. But yeah, so we've cleaned it all up and then I'm uh, doing the outside. As you can see here, it's the M colors along the edge. And yeah, I've been very, very, very happy with the way that this has been turning out. I have not finished it, as you guys can tell. I've been spending the last little bit looking for houses, buying houses, and then moving. So this just got put on the back burner, but it will be finished in an upcoming video. And not only that, we have two of these. So I have this one here that is sitting in my hands and then I've got the one that's in my wife's race car right now, the exact same steering wheel, an M3 steering wheel. We're gonna be cleaning that one up, wrapping it, and then doing the same thing on the outside. So I have the kits to do these. We're gonna be talking about those. I'll be installing it on video. And then, yeah, we'll be giving them away. We'll be doing two of them. So very excited about that. Now, let's take these two steering wheels, the ones that we were talking about today, I wanna to get them weighed. I wanna show off the, the, the weight difference between the two uh, now that I am using the scale properly. And then I wanna click this one into my race car and kinda of get a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. But yeah, just very excited. Kind of a his and hers, really happy with the way that they've turned out. All right, so the trick to this scale is that you, do, you can't have shoes on and you have to have your feet on it for it to register which is what I was messing up on last time. I was just trying to get um, the steering wheel on it by itself. So there you go. That's how much your boy weighs with all of my camera gear. 194. And we're gonna grab our steering wheel now. 197.6. Now that was the NRG steering wheel. And then we'll get our high wow, the carbon fiber steering wheel. 196.2. Now that is not a huge difference, but in your hands, it feels so much lighter. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm not saying to buy this because of the weight. You're not doing this to lose weight. I don't think, in fact, lifting up on this one and lifting up on the stock steering wheel. Actually, let's see how much the stock steering wheel weighs. 201.4. You're not losing that much weight going from the stock steering wheel to one of these guys. You're doing this because you want your steering wheel to be smaller. The closer you are to your output shaft, is going to be more engaging with the car. It's, it's less leverage, it's closer to the wheels. It's, it's getting you as close to the pavement as you possibly can. The other reason is, like I said, you know, flat bottoms, you can get in and out of your car easier. Same thing with the quick release, get out of your car easier. Neither of these two cars right now have cages on them, but they are eventually gonna have cages. And when you have that kind of stuff, you can't just get into the car. You've got to be able to have the option of removing it. So, all right, so we've gotten to see what the difference between carbon fiber, um, a metal frame, and then a stock steering wheel is. Let's go get into my race car, click this thing on, and see what it looks like. All right, well, obviously this won't be exact because this is not in my wife's race car. But let's get this slid on here. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I think that BMW logo turned out just great. Uh, it actually ended up turning out better than mine. If you look really closely at mine, it's a little bit skewamped. But all I did was wrap over this with black and then put uh, pink vinyl over it. Wrap this guy. I had to wrap this one twice because uh, pink over black actually dropped it a few shades and it ended up looking kind of silly. So I actually wrapped that twice and then this one up at the top. So yeah, very happy with that. Hopefully you can get a full view of how that looks. So any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I, I really apologize that we're not able to like actually take the cars out for a drive middle winter. And um, you've got these R888R tires 
when it gets cold, snowy, wet, you just can't take the cars out. So I really, really, really appreciate everybody so much for supporting the channel, watching during some of these downtimes or during some of these less um, exciting videos, especially ones where we're just working on the garage and the house. Thanks again so much for watching. Super clean giveaway coming up very soon. Uh, one thing I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, Nikki underscore Nightmare 46, that is the car that this stream was going to go on to. That's the Instagram. So make sure you're following that. Make sure to be following us on Instagram, tens underscore motorsports. Comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below, and we'll see everybody in the next video.